So Kayla, where are we going now? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Brady Arts, Arts and Community Centre to go and see the EC present launch. Can you tell us what um, the event's about? Yeah, so this is the SEA Presents event. It's the launch and it's run by myself and two of my friends who are from the SEA East and Southeast Asian Diaspora. So we wanted to bring together um, creatives from the SEA Presents and uh, basically just highlight and give them a platform for um, people to see how the community runs in London. And this is going to be a regular thing? Hopefully, yeah. So we've got a pipeline of events coming up. So, yeah, keep a look out. We're on Instagram, ESEA Presents. So you're actually in a plane when you're doing the photographs? Uh, I like to use a drone. You use a drone? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I am, uh, yeah, but I can't take any photos anymore. Okay. I've been uh, mad taking photos. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, long story, but uh, I'm not allowed to anymore. So these are exclusive. Uh, They're much limited edition, limited edition. I'm never going to get yeah. again. And what's the what's what's there? there are loads of people around London who take drones, but I was the one who got cool. caught. Uh, and then yeah, they um, okay, I was in the cell for at least 12 hours. Yeah. Oh dear. So oh, it's illegal. Yeah. I think it's illegal. Yeah, because this is so the city of London is uh, restricted airspace, which means it's only available for yeah, uh, permission in certain types of flights. Because look how amazing this art is. We yeah. wouldn't get, we wouldn't get to see that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where do you, so where do you get permission to ask someone else? Yeah, to ask yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you need to send an email to, I guess, the city of London. Let's all sign a petition then for you to get back out there. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, and what's your Instagram? Uh, my Instagram is Alexander James Ty. Shades of grey are just a back like day and night. So can you tell me about the store? Yeah, so I'm Cian. I'm Linda. Uh, we're mother and daughter, and our store is the Caring Touch. We do have made bath and body products and candles. And um, when did you learn how to make all this soap and things like that? In the lockdown. Lockdown. Lockdown, lockdown informally, but informally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an aromatherapist. Oh, where are we I've got a formulator, 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 I've got a formulator,
Can you tell me about um, your stall and your, what do you call it, head? head yeah, so basically like I'm moving cases and I'm actually originally from Singapore but I've been working and living here and studying here for the past like four years right. and basically I make custom crochet and knit by the carvers but I do head pieces, I do body jewellery, I do thongs, whatever you can think of, I can probably make. <laughs> I'm probably not 100% but I probably can do it and essentially like I'm just all about sort of trying to make kind of push the boundaries of like this very like granny nanny kind of like craft you know and like try to like reappropriate that to like kind of fit individual identities and like little stories so usually I just like people send me like you know a bit of a request or like custom ideas or maybe like Sometimes people even come up to me and be like, I just want a piece that like represents who I am. And like that's how I work basically, yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. And this is your... Those are my creations. The first on the car I ever made was actually in a magazine. I said brought the magazine to me then, actually. Yeah, it a magazine. It was in there for my first ever like editorial, which is really exciting. And like this is the first... Also one of the first ever pieces I made back in lockdown in Singapore actually. Okay. So like photograph at like the balcony of my my sister's place. And um, this is my most recent sort of like revelation revolutionary piece where I was crocheting with metal chain. Okay. So that's metal. Yeah, it's like oh, metal, metal chain, like necklace chain kind of vibe. But yeah, so that's what that's what I do. Yeah. Sure, so uh, we are from e Craft and there's a studio based in Camden. We teach traditional Chinese and Japanese handicrafts. Okay, and are these handmade or by you? Yeah, so it's all handmade uh, by me and by my family. And <laughs> we have the uh, we have the Indigo farm back in China, so my family okay. grows Indigo. And is this like traditional Chinese? Yes, yeah, so those are from Chinese ethnic minority in China, in southwest China. Which ethnic minority? It's a Bai, B A I. B A I. Yeah. Okay, take it. You're just someone I know. Oh, oh. You're just someone I know. Oh. 